Welcome back, guys. Here we are with our latest update for the 22-way professional-only ceramic coatings and sealants longevity test. This is update number seven, or the five-month mark, and as you can see, we got a little bit of the frozen stuff last month. So the last 30 days weather, as well as the lifetime weather that this hood has seen, is on your screen. If you'd like to support the channel, all you need to do is hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below. If you have any experience with any of these coatings as a professional installer, or if you have them on your vehicle, how they're performing. If you're happy with them, if they say they last two years, are you getting two years, and so forth. So if you're just joining us, make sure you check out the entire series of each of these videos as there is a ton of work that goes into the research, prep, install, and continued testing of all of these. As usual, we will foam it down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it with an Australian sheep's wool wash mitt, and then of course rinse it to inspect the hydrophobic properties of everything. I will preface this by saying that the products that were sent to me by an installer for the Modesta products, we're not going to hold that against Modesta because as we found out, they were significantly older than originally thought. So. You really can't use those as a good baseline against some of these others. So with that in mind, let's see how things are holding up. Here we go. As should come at no surprise to anyone, these are all faring quite well with the exception of one. Are any of them looking weak or have some wear on them? That's the question here. So System X, both of those look great. G-Technic Ultra, also very hydrophobic, maybe more so just slightly than Crystal SS System X there, but Owner's Pride looks good. Nano Cotex Graphene looking kind of weak. Not to the point where we would call it weak, but it does have quite a bit of wear on it. And then as you heard me say earlier, the Modesta, just informative, those are old, so we're not going to use judgment any or have judgment against any of those geon q2 mohs plus and opti pro pro plus both looking all right the ceramic pro packages gold silver and bronze gold looks very hydrophobic that is a multiple layer coating as is silver and bronze is just one coating and just like in last month bronze is nearing failure at this point so we're five months in, you know, if it's a, if it, I don't know what it's quoted as, but if it's a six month coating, then it's probably right along the lines of what it should be doing. Ceramic Pro Sport, that is their spray coating, exceptionally hydrophobic. I've tested that a few times in the past and it is a pretty, pretty impressive how well that that product performs. IGL Kinzo Standard versus their Graphene. The Standard is no longer available. It was replaced by the Graphene product. And you can see both of those are doing very well at this point. SPS Graphene that is made by Art to Shine. Also quite hydrophobic. Opti Pro 3. Looks good. And Modesta BC09 plus private label Paul Dalton's private label. Again, that's an old product, so we're not going to use anything there. Moving on down, Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating. That is a consumer coating, just in there for reference, and it is doing quite well. Secord's Finest Reserve versus Professional. These are both 2021 batches, and you can see they're both doing quite well at this point. Both were IR cured, make sure that they were good to go before we started doing anything to them. And Glossit Graphene and Glossit 10H, both of those are very hydrophobic at this point. Again, five months in. And Nanobond, that's our cheap Chinese coating, again, on there for reference. So there is your update, guys. Five months in, I don't really expect to see failures from most of these early on like this when we start getting to the year mark you know maybe we may start seeing something but that's where we're at right now so stay tuned for more thanks for watching and we'll see you soon <laughs>